ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Quad Boss Elite, and welcome to 2023, first video of this year. And why not better than start off the new year with working on the Silverado? Now today, guys, it's gonna be a simple task. We're actually replacing the windshield washer fluid reservoir in this in this truck because it does have a few cracks and it doesn't hold fluid anymore. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, guys, so first things first, in order to get this bad boy out, we need to take the battery out, which we need to disconnect our terminals. If you're negative and you're positive on the stock screws, they should be seven millimeter, I believe. Mine are 14, just because I changed out the screws. So I'm gonna take this off. Once we take our terminals off, we're gonna go ahead and get the support bar out of here. So in order to get the support bar out of here, we gotta use a 10 millimeter wrench, to take off this bolt, and then there's a hidden bolt back over here underneath there. Really, all you have to do is really take off this one and then you can swing this out of the way if you don't want to take all of it out. So we'll go ahead and, and do those two things. All right, guys, so once we finish unhooking our terminals and get this support bar out of the way, we're next going to take out the battery, which has a support or lock-in, basically right at the bottom in front of the battery. It's a 13 millimeter socket, get a long extension, and we'll go ahead and bring it down there and we'll just start loosening up until we get this block out. All right, guys, and just like that, our block is out of the bottom which holds in the battery so now we're able to go ahead and take this battery out all right guys so now that the battery is out there is a plate that holds in the battery which currently has three 10 millimeter bolts to hold it in so we're going to go ahead and take the three out one there one there and one there we'll go ahead and take those out and then we'll be able to get this face plate off which will then allow us to get to our reservoir which is right here all right, guys, so once you get those three bolts undone, there are two more, and it's kind of hidden right behind your power port here. So we got two more here, which are also 10 millimeters. We'll get it, take those off, which will allow us to take off the entire plate. All righty, guys, so now we are able to see our reservoir. And there's hold on my two bolts, one right here. And then there's also one way down here. I actually took the fender out of here so you can actually see better. It's actually tucked back in right there. So you got one on the top and one on the bottom. So I'll go ahead and take these two out, which will make this thing drop. And then we have to disconnect our connections, which right here, I also do have the front bumper up as well. Um, here is our pump here. Here's where the fluid gets pumped out. And then you got your electrical component up on top. And then your sensor is right here. So we'll just go ahead and disconnect both of them. And then we'll go ahead and take this tank out. All right, guys, so the old one is out. And now we are ready for the new one. My new one did not have the sensor on it, so I just took it out of the old one and put it in here. But it's got a new pump and everything, so we're going ahead and literally just place it back in, put our connections, put our wires back on, and our hoses and whatnot, and screw it back in and fill her up and test it. Alrighty, guys, so the new reservoir is in. I got it screwed in. One other thing we're gonna have to take off the old one is this clip here. It goes right over this hole right down here. Just right in that hole, which holds your battery box in. So we're going to go ahead and put our body battery box in that black piece and then put our battery back in, put our crossbars and stuff back in and we'll be ready to fill her up and test it. Alrighty guys, so the battery and everything is all hooked up. So let's go ahead and test it. Alrighty guys, so we're in the truck, go ahead and test it. Everything seems to be working good. All right, guys, so that concludes today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and welcome to 2023. Today's 2023 is going to be a good year. So, uh, guys, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give the video a like. If you have not already subscribed to Paul Boss Elite, so you can catch more on the truck, RCs, off road stuff, my other car, all good stuff. And we'll catch you on the next one.